Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. A little bit of a summertime sizzle as those temperatures continue to rise. We start with our West Valley camera looking towards the Wasatch. Yes, some towering cumulus. Few lingering storms out there today, but the big headline for the weather is the heat. 97 in Salt Lake right now. We've hit 100 degrees in St. George. We're going to continue to see this warmth building. 80s and 90s on the eastern side of the state where we're seeing 80s in the basin and castle country. That's where those storms really kind of want to linger. Our fire warnings are already posted. We talked about those winds increasing and I've got the timeline on when and how long that warning stays in effect. Drought update for you. Not much change, but we're going to look at the water year and know exactly where we've been falling short and record temperature potential. It's there as this heat continues to build. Satellite radar shows you exactly where those storms are. Northeastern corner of the state. We knew this would be the area where we had some residual lingering moisture and some of those storms producing a little bit of lightning and some brief heavy rain. Really, that one over Price is the best shot at lightning. Some showers towards Duchesne and then yes, over the mountains. We know the higher elevations and as we saw on that Wasatch camera, those towering cumulus mean business throughout the rest of the state. Windy conditions with those gusts, double digits along the Wasatch Front and the West Desert, and that amps up fire danger. It is elevated for today on the western side of the state, and this is going to be the target area as we get through the next couple of days, but it does expand. As a result, a red flag warning, this is new this afternoon, folks, posted as we roll into tomorrow by lunchtime, Utah County extends now into Utah County and on the western side of the state towards Salt Lake County and the West Desert will hold until Saturday night and this is when we expect peak wind gusts. We already have the heat, we already have dry conditions, so a fire start would spread quickly. Speaking of dry, okay, we haven't seen much change on the drought monitor in the last few weeks. 8% of the state in exceptional drought. That's the highest category you can get and we've watched that really bubble up in south central Utah. 83% of Utah, which you see in red, that's the extreme drought. Not a great position to be in. It's level four on a category of five and so we know that includes the Wasatch Front and as it continues to extend north into the West Desert and for much of the central and southern portion of the state. So very dry conditions. You know about drought. We've been talking about it, but let's look at the water year because we're falling short in certain locations. We're definitely at a deficit, which you know. Water year starts back on October 1st, but look at all those below average months. That includes November, January, February, April, June. Goodness, we just couldn't keep up. March and May performed, but not enough to get us to that deficit. We've had just over 11 inches of rain in Salt Lake so far this year. Typically we see over 15. Let's hope some monsoon moisture comes through. Future cast moisture shows us how we do get some moisture potential by Saturday. Some cloud cover wants to move in, but that southwesterly flow will keep us dry. Now the brown indicates where we are dry, and as we start next week, that's a bulk of the state. But as we move towards the middle of the week, we kind of see that push of moisture, and we have the potential for some thunderstorms rolling in. So we're not done with storm activity. We just have a few days before we see changes. Temperatures in the 90s going triple digits tomorrow in Moab, Salt Lake, and St. George. The heat is on. Be ready for it as we look at the next seven. Down there in Washington County, those triple digits don't let up. We actually get the winds bringing in that fire danger. 108 by Tuesday, we're cooking. And you know what? That's not even close to records. We usually see 114 down there for the records in St. George. Looking at Salt Lake, flirting with records. Best chance there as we roll into Saturday. There's a look at the next seven where triple digits don't want to let go. Slight break on Sunday if you like a 98. I know, be ready for the heat, it can sneak up on you. And to stay on top of any weather changes, download the ABC4 Weather app. It's the best way to get Utah's most accurate forecast. Take a picture of this QR code, takes you right to the app store. You can download for free, and that way we can be there for you.